The Sepang International Circuit Malaysia's Sepang Circuit is the strongest prospect to begin supercars' long-premised Asian invasion. Supercars Supremo James Warburton believes he is closer to securing an event at Sepang than clinching a deal with the Singapore Grand Prix, the other leading candidate. Warburton has declared that he wants to lock in at least one Asian engagement before stepping down as chief executive officer on December 22. He has targeted adding up to two new international events in the region in 2019, claiming Supercars has memorandums of understanding MOUs or more binding agreements in place with several groups, as well as serious talks to race at the Sepang International Circuit Sick outside Kuala Lumpur and as the major support race category at Singapore's Marina Bay F1 Street Circuit. There have been discussions with promoters in Thailand, Indonesia, China and elsewhere. Asked by SpeedCafe.com which was the strongest chance to kick off Supercar's renewed Asian ambitions, Warburton replied Malaysia's the most likely, at Sepang. But in a surprise twist, he also revealed that the stillborn Kuala Lumpur downtown street race event could make a comeback to rival the Sepang bid. He claimed that the legal dispute over organizing rights for the Malaysian government-backed KL City 400 on a street circuit in the shadow of the city's iconic Petronas Towers was close to settlement, opening the possibility that it could be revived. There's settlement going on at the moment in terms of the parties disputing KL Street Race event, which is getting closer, Warburton said. But it's taken two years, so there are no guarantees there. So I think there are two strong cards, if you like, in Malaysia, followed by Singapore and then obviously there are other promoters in Asia that have expressed interest. Supercars ran a five-car demonstration through the streets of the Malaysian capital in August 2015 and the KL City 400 was listed on the original 2016 championship calendar. But the four-year deal never went ahead because of a legal dispute over organizing rights that has dragged on ever since. Earlier this year, Warburton declared the KL Street Race event dead, but the prospect of a resolution of the fight for the rights to run it has opened the door, slightly, to a resurrection. Realistically, though, Sepping remains the frontrunner to secure a Malaysian supercars event because of the former F1 track's keen interest and existing infrastructure. Sepping hosted its last F1 race at the start of this month after ending its contract early because of declining crowds. SICK is looking to a supercars event, with a Malaysian wildcard entry driver, to join its successful MOTIP round as an annual headline international event. However, it will require an innovative marketing approach to attract local interest in a largely unknown form of racing and among the proposals to attract a sizable attendance is sponsor-subsidized free entry. Supercars would also heavily promote the event in Australia and offer incentives for fans to travel to the event and spend time in Malaysia. Subject to suitable terms being agreed, Sepping would join the V8 series on a multi-year deal beginning in 2019. But Supercars officials haven't ruled out adding the track to next year's calendar if a deal can be struck sooner. With the Winton round still subject to renewed Victoria state government funding and Queensland Raceways inclusion dependent on safety upgrades, Sepping could be on standby if either falls over.